Loss of hearing can be caused by many different factors. I am not a doctor, audiologist or healthcare professional. Do not rely on any information contained in this video and always seek and follow the advice of your healthcare provider. Hi and welcome to Hearing in Australia. My name is Nick and today I wanted to talk to you about hearing aid channels. Now, uh, when I started, uh, first went into uh, the hearing aid place where I went to, to have my hearing aids, uh, my hearing tested, they started talking about channels and, and all these sorts of things. And, and to be honest, I had no idea what they were talking about. They, were, they, they made it sound great, um, and, uh, but I really didn't have a, an understanding as to, to what they meant by channels. So I'm going to try and just explain to you a bit about channels. So first of all, my hearing test. So if you have a look at my hearing test here, if you look closely at it, you'll see that it is actually, there's eight dots across the hearing aid range. Now each one of those dots effectively represents a channel. So what they've done is that they have tested me along those eight, eight spots and therefore there are eight different frequencies where I have lost hearing to different, different degrees. And so what they do is they have hearing aids and in these hearing aids generally they start from about four channels and go up to 64 channels. Okay, this is the latest technology from what I understand when I have done this video is that it's 64 channels is the latest technology. But what all they're doing is they're saying they're taking those eight channels and then when they're tuning your hearing aids they're actually the computer is actually filling in the blanks. And so think of it much like um, a, 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 a um, audio uh, equalizer back from the 80s or 70s when they were all the rage and we had these graphic equalizers like this and they had all the sliding things and you could tune the sound to have it the way you like. You want a more bass, you've lifted the bass and reduced the treble and vice versa. Um, yeah, we played around with these equalizers and, and they lasted for a few years, but uh, that's that they faded out. But that's effectively what a channel is. So you can have a, a four channel equalizer where you could only adjust sort of like a little bit or an eight uh, channel uh, equalizer or you can have a 16 channel or a 32 channel where you had much finer uh, control over the um, over, over how you adjusted the sound. So just think of it a bit like a, a TV at the moment. So uh, you, you might go be tempted to buy an 8K TV but no one's broadcasting in 8K. In actual fact, it's very hard to get people to broadcast in 4K. So when they start talking about a 64 channel hearing aid, yeah, technically very advanced, great idea, but not particularly necessary because all they're doing is that you are being tested at only eight points, generally speaking. Now, eight points is because of the time it takes. Now, you know, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to do a hearing aid test. And if they start testing you across 16 or 24 or 32 channels or different frequencies, um, yeah, you'd be there for, for a long, long time and people would get fidgety and restless and all the rest of it and they'd lose concentration. So you only do get tested, generally speaking, across those eight channels. And then the computer fills in the rest uh, when they do the, the programming. So don't don't get too caught up in the channels yes like you know obviously four channels is probably you know not quite enough um, eight channels is what you get tested for 16 channels 32 channels you know that's probably as much um, variance as you need and it's very easy to get caught up in the whole uh, spiel of oh you know I've got to have the, the latest and greatest because otherwise I'm not going to hear uh, as well as I could. Well, no, that's not the case. Uh, most people get away very well with an eight channel audio, with an eight channel hearing aid. In actual fact, I think uh, you know, most of the free ones that you can get from the government are around that, that eight channels um, or four channels. But the, the most important part is that you, um, they, they're programmed to your specific loss requirements. So, you know, I, I would encourage people to get the best that they can afford, uh, but I, I, my problem is I couldn't 
justify to myself spending the money and in the next video I do I'm going to cover the cost of, of hearing aids for those of you who are not aware of the cost of hearing aids um, but I just couldn't justify the cost of the hearing aids um, for the perceived benefit. Now technology is great, I love technology, I'm not anti-technology uh, but don't don't feel as though you've got to spend the extra money to get the latest technology of 64 channels. I mean there are other features in relation to the more modern technology for argument's sake Bluetooth conductivity with your phone and being able to hear your phone through the Bluetooth and those sorts of things so there are those benefits as well um, and and there if you're after that type of hearing aid well then you know by all means pay the extra money and get those features uh, but if you just want something that's going to help you in your day-to-day -day life um, and, and be able to let you rejoin the conversation uh, it don't get caught up in the channels okay anything more than eight is more than what you're being tested for when you have your hearing aid so if it's 16 it's double if it's 24 it's triple uh, so you know that that's that's the way I, I look at it so that's all the channel is channel is just a bandwidth uh, and, it, and it just amplifies those uh, bandwidths uh, in accordance with your particular uh, hearing loss so that's all I want to say about channels uh, thank you for watching please share like comment subscribe uh, tell your friends about it uh, you know, it helps the channel and, and let's get the information out there uh, and, and remove the stigma about uh, hearing aids and the purpose of hearing aids and, and uh, how they can actually bring you back into the conversation so again thank you for watching and ciao for now